Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am gonna be sharing with y'all my favorite maternity pants that I have tried during my pregnancy. I am currently 29 weeks pregnant and we're expecting a baby girl in April. We're so excited, obviously. Cannot believe we're in the third trimester. It goes by so, so fast. And I feel like within the last like month is when I feel like I really popped and maternity pants have been an absolute necessity. I actually jumped on the maternity pants really early into my pregnancy. I had acquired a couple pairs during the first trimester just to test them out so that I would have some for when I actually needed them. And that's probably one of my greatest pieces of advice. If you are just now finding out you're pregnant, go ahead and grab a couple different styles because you don't need them until you really need them and you're like wait i don't have any pants that fit me and i feel like it snuck up so so quickly so i'm going to be showing you seven different pairs of maternity pants that i have honestly been loving and these pants have seriously been my lifeline my entire pregnancy because for a second I was like, I don't know, do I really wanna get maternity pants? But after I tried maternity pants, I realized that there's no reason to resist maternity pants because they're so, so comfortable if you find the right ones. And so I wanted to share with you guys my go-tos because there are so many good styles now that are just very flattering. And so I thought for this video, I could compile my favorites. I'll be showing you guys leggings, non-jean, pants and then my favorite maternity jeans of course if you guys are new to my channel i'll have everything linked down below in the description box as well as in a blog post that way you can find all of the different styles of pants i'm talking about as well as all of the rest of the pieces that i'm wearing so like tops and shoes and accessories those will all be linked out in the blog post that you can find pinned in the comments and also in the description box. But we are gonna go ahead and get into it. I am five foot two just for reference. And personally, I feel like finding maternity pants that also come in short has been a little bit of a challenge. So if you are in a similar height as me, then this video might actually be really, really helpful for you. A lot of the pants that I'm showing you guys are perfect if you are on the shorter side. So first up, these are the Paige Denim Noella jeans. And these are top of the list for me, my favorite style of jean that I have tried, especially in your first and your second trimester. So in your first trimester, you're feeling way more bloated than you really are seeing a bump and so you want a pair of jeans that has some flex to them but also are not an overbelly style I had an overbelly style that I got my first trimester again just to have it on hand and I never really wore them in my first trimester because there was no need for the overbelly band so these ones are amazing because they have a side band here which is this huge elastic panel that goes on the side on both sides. And I've talked about these specific jeans so many times here on my YouTube channel and on my Instagram during my pregnancy because they are to me the most normal pair of maternity pants that I have tried. I feel like once you start getting into the overbelly styles, you just start to feel so pregnant. <laughs> And honestly, the overbelly styles are for bellies that have grown quite a bit. So I find that the Noella jeans or really any type of maternity pant that has some kind of side panel instead of the full overbelly elastic are going to be your best friend during your first and early second trimester. The reason I love these ones though is because they are just your classic black wash denim, but they're also a straight leg. I feel like I found so many pairs of skinny jeans that were maternity, but it's really hard to find more like straight leg modern styles. And so I really, really love these. They also are an incredible length on me being five foot two. I didn't have to crop them or anything like that. That and they work great with sneakers, sandals, or boots. So no matter what time of the year that you are pregnant, these are a really, really great option. They also have just like normal back pockets and I don't think they actually have any front pockets. So that's the one thing about these pants. They don't have any front pockets. These are definitely my most worn. I will say as my belly is growing and as she is just sitting really, really low, she sat low my entire pregnancy and so now I'm starting to notice that like this is 
getting a little bit more tight down here and it's also getting to the point where it's starting to like roll down a little bit. I think as I progress in my third trimester, I'll probably be wearing more overbelly styles for the actual support as my like stomach grows. But pretty much up until now, these have been my absolute go-to throw on jeans. So this sweater is from Abercrombie. It's one of my favorites. And none of the tops that I'm showing you guys are maternity. They're just tops that I have been wearing. But I really like this style because it has a longer back and a longer front panel. So I've been able to wear this sweater my entire pregnancy and I feel like it still covers the bump fairly well super super soft and cozy and it comes in a bunch of different colors i also have on some black western boots from dolce vita which i really really love and then my madewell chain crossbody bag which is just a great black bag to throw on but this is my first pair of maternity pants and I could not recommend these more. Next up are another pair of underbelly maternity jeans. These ones are from Paige as well. They just make some of my favorite denim right now. Their maternity pants are so good. These are the, I believe they're called the Anissa style. And these ones are more of a wide leg jean. So they are a rich blue wash denim, which I feel like these during the spring are gonna be so, so nice. Like towards the end of my pregnancy, I feel like I'm gonna love these in March. But I really, really love the length of these. So like I said, I'm five foot two. I did not have to crop these. These come at this length and they work really great with sandals or mules but would also look really good with boots as well because they are a little bit of a wide leg style these jeans are so soft and stretchy and just so so comfortable like they're so comfortable when you're looking for a pair of maternity jeans comfort is so so important as well as style and so these ones i could not recommend more they have the panel here on the side just like the noella one and again, you get the button and the zipper so you feel so normal wearing these jeans It's just it's so much easier to to put them on and to take them off to go to the bathroom Especially in your like second and third trimester I feel like I have to go to the bathroom all the time and I just I love the underbelly style because it's so simple and quick to go to the bathroom But the overbelly style obviously has more support, but it is a chore to get those on and off. These are so easy and I just, I could not recommend these or the Noellas more to you guys. Like they're so, so comfy. I've got them on with this sweater from Revolve. This is one of my favorite sweaters. I actually have this in white as well. And I just, I love the fit of it. It has like billowy sleeves. It's not itchy at all. It hides the panels and it's just like the perfect, Fit. I also have on my Nisolo woven mules, which I think are just so cute with this color of sweater. And then I have on my Cezanne bag, which is one of my favorites right now. I just got this bag and it's so chic and classy. And I just, I love mixing my tones of brown, but these are my next pair of maternity jeans. And I think the other styles that I'm gonna be showing you guys are overbelly. So these are the two underbelly styles, black and blue wash that I really, really love. Next up are these ankle straight jeans from Abercrombie. So these are an overbelly style and I've got to say as the bump is getting bigger, the overbelly styles are becoming more comfortable. So maybe if you're early on in your pregnancy, I would recommend grabbing one underbelly and one overbelly for the beginning and end of your pregnancy. But I really love the fact that Abercrombie's maternity jeans also come in short and in tall, just like their normal denim. Abercrombie makes some of my favorite jeans. And honestly, that was maybe the most tragic thing about becoming pregnant was that all of my favorite pants just like don't fit anymore. And so a lot of my favorite jeans couldn't wear towards the end of my first trimester, I feel like I was so bloated, I could not wear my favorite denim. And so these are a really, really great option if you are a little bit later in your pregnancy and you have been putting off maternity jeans and you're looking for a good pair of overbelly, these are amazing. They are super, super comfortable. There's nowhere on them that rubs on your side or your back to cause like any type of rash or anything like that. Some overbelly styles and some underbelly styles because 
because of the elastic can rub on your hips or your back and it can just make it a little bit like irritated. These are so, so comfy. I'm wearing a size 25 short and I'm typically a 23. 324 in Abercrombie, but with my pregnancy, I have changed jean sizes. So I'm right now between a 24 and a 25 in the maternity jeans at Abercrombie. I actually have both, but I do find that the 25 at this point is more comfortable for me and a lot easier to get on. That's the one thing about the overbelly style, if you haven't tried them yet, is that they don't have any sort of button or zipper. So getting them on up and over your hips is like the hardest part of putting on the overbelly style whereas the underbelly style you have a button you have a zipper so they just they go on so quick these you really have to like pull up and shimmy up and then like pull it over your stomach but once they're on they're really really comfortable I really love these though. They come in a bunch of different washes. I have these in the medium wash, I believe. If you are between jean sizes for maternity, I would recommend sizing up because you do just naturally gain a little bit of weight. Your hips get a little bit wider. And so just having that buffer, I think is really, really nice. And so I feel like I can wear these pretty much through the end of my pregnancy because I do still have some room in the hips a little bit. And I don't feel like they're too tight anymore wear which the 24s on me at this point are a little bit uncomfortable a little bit too tight so that's just my recommendation for sizing obviously everyone's bump is different everyone's hips are different so definitely order a few pairs and just return whichever ones don't fit so you can find your size but i found that if i just size up one size for my normal jean size that's typically where i'm at right now but i love these they are so cute i've got them on with this waffle knit from Walmart. I think this was like $14 or $11. It's like mega on sale right now. And then I also have on this leather jacket from Madewell. None of this other stuff is maternity, which is why I just, I love the fact that like my pants can be maternity, but everything else I can wear post-pregnancy. And then for my shoes, I have on my new sneakers from Cezanne and I am obsessed with these sneakers. They're so cute and so chic. And then my Lululemon quilted crossbody bag, which has been one of my favorites this entire winter. It is such a good bag. Honestly, it would be a great like mom bag too because super durable, super lightweight. You can actually fit a ton of stuff in it and it's just very easy to clean and like take on the go. So this is my next outfit and would highly recommend the Abercrombie maternity jeans. They also have their classic 90s straight jean in maternity style as well. I will be showing you a pair of their leather pants that's in the 90s straight, but these are the ankle straight. So the ankle straight are a little bit shorter. Even if you get the short in the 90s straight jean, they're still gonna be a little bit longer, if that makes sense. So just keep that in mind for length. I got these in 25 short and they are an ankle length on me. So they work really well with sneakers, heels, taller ankle boots, things like that, sandals. Whereas the 90s straight jean maternity are still gonna be long, even if you get them in short. So. Keep that in mind for sizing. Next up are these black overbelly jeans from Madewell. So these are a straight pair of denim as well. They're an overbelly style, so they're perfect for later in your pregnancy. These ones actually don't come in short or petite, so I went ahead and I just cut the bottoms of them and it was super easy. I literally just cut them and then you take a cheese grater and you grate the bottom of the denim to kind of fray it. But I love these jeans because they're so flattering on. I feel like sometimes maternity jeans just don't look right, whereas I feel like these still look like a normal pair of denim once you obviously hide the belly band. One thing to note about these jeans is that they have an elastic in the back with buttons so you can actually pull the elastic tighter if you don't have too much of a bump yet and you get them earlier in your pregnancy you can pull the elastic tighter and you can actually tighten the band around your ribs the only thing about that though is that the buttons are a little bit uncomfortable if you don't have any sort of tank or like longer bra or long sleeve underneath your jeans so one way to combat that is literally I'll wear a long tank or a long 
t-shirt or whatever and I will wear it over my stomach and then I'll pull the jeans up over the tank and that totally solves the problem. That's just one thing to note if you do end up getting this style of jean is that it does have those buttons and elastic in the back that can dig in. So if you are really, really sensitive, definitely either pass on these or get some kind of like longer tank top to wear underneath the actual band itself. However, I will say the buttons are really nice because earlier in my second trimester, I was actually able to tighten the band around my smaller bump and that was really helpful. So it's one of those things you have to decide if you want that or if you wanna go through the trouble of pairing a tank underneath them. But I love these. I wear these a lot actually because they just, they're so, so flattering on and especially as my bump gets bigger, the overbelly style is becoming more comfortable than the underbelly. So I actually have been reaching for these a little bit more than my page denim ones in the last couple of weeks, just cause I like having that extra support. But these are just, I love these cause they have like a thicker band in the back as well. So you just feel very, very supported, but you don't feel constricted or uncomfortable in these. So been really loving these. I've got them on with the Madewell Darcy boots and this really oversized sweater from Revolve. I have been living in these like bigger cardigans and wearing them as tops just because they work so well over the bump and also hiding the maternity jeans. And then I have on my Madewell little bucket bag here. But this is my next outfit. Next up are these maternity pants from Walmart. And I genuinely feel like these are my best find this entire pregnancy. These are so affordable, so comfortable. They work perfect if you are like 5'5 five, five or shorter. They are a maternity jegging. So if you've tried a bunch of maternity jeans, you're like, I still can't find one that's comfortable. Just skip the jeans and go straight for the jeggings. Like I'm dead serious. I love these pants. They are the most comfortable pair of maternity pants that I've tried that are not just straight up leggings. They are so soft and comfy and stretchy, but because they're a jegging, they're still dressy enough to where they look like a nice work pant. They are seriously the best. Like I could not recommend these to you guys more. I love these pants, like truly top recommendation, especially if you're trying to stay away from jeans in general, these are it. Like they are the best, most comfortable, also super, super flattering on and they're from Walmart. So they are ridiculously affordable. And I just, I love them. I feel like these are my most comfortable pair of maternity pants. I have got them on with my Cezanne sneakers again and this turtleneck from Abercrombie. I love this sweater. Again, because it has the two longer panels, but you also have the split down the side, so it can kind of grow with you, which is very, very nice. Also have on an Everlane blazer and my Madewell bucket bag, but these guys, like don't sleep on these. Like you can get these even earlier in your pregnancy. They are just the most comfortable thing ever. Next up are these faux leather pants from Abercrombie, and I am obsessed with Abercrombie's faux leather pants because they're so flattering, they're like a straight leg style. And obviously those are some of the first to go when you become pregnant because they're, they're just like super fitted. So these are the same 90s straight style, but in maternity. So they're an overbelly style and I got these in a 25 short. Again, I love that these come in short and in tall, even in the maternity version. And I'll have all of the sizes that I got in the other pants as well linked in the blog post for you guys, but these are legit so comfy, like a 100,000 times more comfortable than the actual faux leather pants. The over belly band is super stretchy and it doesn't rub anywhere. There's no like places of irritation with these. These are like the best. They also have little pockets in the front, which I think is kind of funny but they are super, super comfy and flattering. And I love that you still get to wear your faux leather pants or like fun kind of different styles of pants even while you're pregnant. So I really, really love these. And I've got them on with the same Western Dolce Vita boots, this very like long oversized knit button up from Aritzia and then my Madewell chain crossbody bag. But I feel like anytime that I want to 
be dressed up, I'll put on these faux leather maternity pants. And I just, I feel like they just kind of elevate any look. Next up are a pair of leggings, and these are probably my most worn maternity leggings. So these ones are from Amazon, and they are a flare legging style, which I love the flare legging style. I feel like you can wear them with so many different outfits, and they're just super flattering on. So these ones I got from Amazon, and they're a really, really great price. I also love the length of them on me. Again, it can be kind of hard to find shorter versions of maternity pants, and I feel like these are really, really great length being five foot two. They also have pockets in the front, which I didn't think I would really like, but honestly, I slip my phone into them quite often and they're super, super convenient. They are an overbelly style, so, so comfortable. And I feel like they're a really good thickness as well. They're not like too thin and they do have some really good support, which is really, really nice. I wear these around the house. I wear these out. I wear these like all the time. I'm obsessed with these leggings and they also come in chocolate brown, I believe. So that might be my next purchase, but I have got them on with my Lululemon scuba zip in the funnel neck version in Java. I'm not sure if this color is still available, but they release new colors like every other month, I feel like in the scuba and it's one of my most worn sweatshirts. And then my Lululemon puff vest, which I just am obsessed with and my Lululemon puff bag. Again, that's like one of my most worn bags right now. And these really fun kind of like Sherpa slides from Walmart, but this is definitely more of a cozy, outfit but i hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of my favorite maternity pants like i said i'll have everything linked in the blog post you can find everything that i talked about and also i'll be sure to include sizing on the blog as well. You can find the blog post in the description box and also pinned in the comments. But if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Let me know if you found this helpful and where along in your pregnancy you're at. I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you're probably expecting as well. But if you're not and you're just here for a styling video, then thanks for being here. But if you happen to be new here on my channel and you wanna stick around for some more videos, I do a lot of styling videos and hauls and all the things so right now obviously being pregnant a lot of my videos are maternity style focused but i will obviously be back to shooting my other content post pregnancy but it's been really fun to get to experiment with different looks and different silhouettes during my pregnancy stick around hit the subscribe button i would love to have you back on my channel and i will see you guys in my next one really really soon bye guys